Today we're going to show you how to change the drum glides on your dryer. It's a really easy job. All we need is a putty knife and a 516 snut driver. Let me show you how it's done. The very first thing we do before we begin this repair is disconnect the power to the dryer. If it has a plug on it, simply disconnect the plug and you're safe. If it does not have a plug, find the disconnect switch, turn it off and verify that power is disconnected to your dryer before you begin. To begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is raise the top of the dryer. Well, there's two spring clips, each of them are in about three inches from the outside edge. Just take a flat putty knife, locate them, push in and depress the spring, lift up gently on the top and hold it up. Now we'll need something to support the top when we lift it up, either lean it against the wall or have somebody hold it, support it in some manner. Next we're going to remove the front panel and there's two 5 16 screws that secure the front panel to the cabinet. They're accessible from the back. We'll need to remove those. We also have the door switch. We'll need to remove the wires on that. And if it has a light in the model that you're working on, you'll need to remove the wires to the drum light. Take note of the location of the wires before you remove them. Either take a picture of it or write it down. Gently lift up on the front panel and unhook the two tabs from the bottom. Set that aside. Next we'll remove the front bulkhead. There's four 516 screws that secure that to the cabinet. Pull the drum back from the bulkhead, lift up gently on it, pull forward. Now with the front bulkhead removed, we can replace the front drum glides. Just set it on a suitable work surface, we can change those. Now that we have the front bulkhead removed from the dryer and leaned up against it so it's a nice solid area to work with, you notice the location of the true front drum glides. They should actually be replaced as a pair. Uh, chance there are one of them is worn, the other one is not far behind it. Now to remove these, simply push up on the pointed end of it, push it up through the hole, tilt it up, give it a quarter of a turn, and lift the rear end of it out. Reverse the procedure to replace it. T-shaped end, put it in first, give it a quarter of a turn, press the pointed end down through, and press it flat into place. Now we're ready to put the bulkhead back on the dryer cabinet. To reinstall the front bulkhead, we basically want to push the bulkhead up against the dryer drum, making sure that the two glides are underneath the lip of the drum. Then we can lift up and install these two tabs, one on each side, into the opening in the cabinet. Now 
At the same time, we want to make sure that we engage the blower outlet correctly. Make sure the drum is still sitting on top of the slides. We're ready to install the four 5 16 hex head screws. Reinstall the wires to the light. Make sure they go through the harness holder. And they're two different size terminals, so it's pretty hard to mix these two up. Make sure they fit snugly, and if they don't, just give them a little crimp with a pair of needle nose pliers. Now we're ready to put the front panel on. Now, as we install the front panel, we want to engage two clips that are on the bottom of the cabinet, two slots in the bottom of the front panel. Tilt the front into place. And reinstall the two 5 16 screws that secure the front panel to the cabinet. Next, we'll reinstall the wires to the door switch. This is where you consult the notes that you made when you took them off. Make sure they're in the proper locations. Make sure they fit snugly. And if not, crimp them with a pair of needle nose pliers. Now we're ready to put the top down. To engage the two alignment tabs, one on each side, with two holes in the bottom of the top. And then two locator tabs on the front, snap it into place. And our repair is complete.